Hey there, Captain Chris German coming to you from Bullfrog. Um, it is uh, Friday and uh, yet another week has passed and we're still trying to get the Kickstarter campaign going. But I have some uh, good friends up in uh, Provo, Utah, I think that are going to be helping me make some videos to try and uh, get some more funding into this project. And um, it's a it's a full-fledged company that uh, I, I can't really tell you who they are yet, but I will tell you in the future, hopefully. And uh, our formal partnership's gonna be arranged, I think, at that, that frame. I just finished watching a movie called um, uh, A River Ran Through It, uh, Draining of Lake Powell. Um, I watched it because I've gotten a lot of support or a lot of uh, input from people that think that the lake should be filled and that it should just miraculously come up and, you know, let's put 20 million gallons of water in there from somewhere. Uh, and then uh, I haven't heard from a lot of folks that want to drain this lake. And I watched this documentary, try to understand the, the thought process behind draining the lake. Here's a clip from it. I'm often asked the question whether, uh, you know, are we just so crazy in this? No, it's not, it's not crazy at all. It, it, it makes all the sense in the world. Keeping Lake Powell is a crazy idea. Building Lynn Canyon Dam was a crazy idea. It was an ill-thought, illogical. Um, it has caused more problems than it has good. Well, the intent was very obvious to make possible for the upper basin states to hold back the water that they were granted under the law of the river. They couldn't possibly build their projects unless they had a big sponge to, to catch the floods in the good water years so they could squeeze it in the dry water years to live with the compact, which requires the upper basin to deliver seven and a half million acre feet of water every year at least ferry to the lower basin. Well, they couldn't do any development upstream without having that big sponge to regulate the river. Very necessary. The upper basin states owe that water downstream regardless of conditions, regardless if it's a water plentiful year or if it's a drought year. They owe that water downstream. We don't need Lake Powell to meet the upper basin's commitment of water. There is more than enough water in the other dams already stored upstream to meet that requirement. However, this is, this is strictly an accounting issue. That is the way the Bureau of Reclamation has chosen to account for the water. We don't need dams to account for water. You can simply let the water flow and let them store it and, and just say once it's gone past Lee's Ferry, it's delivered. We've met our requirement. There, it's yours. Okay, so, so you saw what they said there. Um, and that was a movie that was done five years ago. Um, and it, it's, an interesting, it's an interesting take on the whole thing. Um, if you watch the whole thing, it's available on YouTube. If you watch the whole thing, I, I think they do a very balanced job of draining versus filling the lake. I think they do fall a little bit more hard down on the, the side, of, side of draining the lake, if you look at the big picture of the thing. Um, but they also didn't have the information that we have five years later where the lake is, is empty. <laughs> it's God emptied this lake. People didn't do it. Um, you know, and maybe people did do it, but, but the question is not so much what should we drain the lake anymore. It is now a question of what if the lake gets drained and we can't control draining the lake. Um, the truth of the matter, if you believe what they said in those uh, clips that I just played, is that this lake was supposed to be a sponge. It was supposed to be a, a re reservoir of, of reservoirs. So when the reservoirs of the north side of it uh, put the water down, it could regulate the flow to the lower basin. And it didn't really matter if this was full or if it was not full because it was supposed to always, you know, just have enough water. Well, those reservoirs are empty. This reservoir is empty. And the question is, what do we do to get water back in these reservoirs? Not a question of should we get water back in these reservoirs because we have people here that need water and they drink water and they need electricity and they need all these things that are created here. It's not a question of should we drain the water or not drain the water. It is a question of what do we do now that the water is drained and how do we get water back in here? And that's the purpose of the reckoning of Glen Canyon. I hope you'll support us on Kickstarter. I hope you, that you'll let me answer these questions and find out the answers because if your lives depend on it, your children's lives depend on it, and the life of the Southwestern United States depends on it. And I really need you to help me with this. Thank you so much.